We have as our first uh, one of, of two speakers that have volunteered bravely to present today. Um, we have Bob Bell, and I'm actually going to try to unmute you, Bob. Uh, Bob is um, graciously joining us today, and as, as many of you probably know, Bob, he is uh, part of the digital practice community at Stantec and is the BIM manager there. And um, if you want to introduce the, the problem and yourself a little bit uh, as well, then I can roll the video that you provided. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so I uh, manage multiple BIM projects uh, across many of our offices at Stantec, and one of the common issues that we run into is people just continue to do sheet setup the same old way. But in particular, uh, on the electrical and MEP side of things, we do a lot of dependent views on buildings where the building is larger than the sheet. And we use dependent views because they're very easy to work from, from an MEP perspective. Uh, and built-in Revit does have some tools to allow you to sort of quickly create uh, dependent views for multiple disciplines, but it's not smooth. And then there comes the uh, issue of even just getting them onto sheets. Uh, I used to use BIMLink to help me manage that, but then we have uh, some great tools under ID apps that it's great. So go ahead and roll the video. Great, all right, thank you. The electrical discipline model typically has many subdiscipline views. When working with a large building that needs to be split across multiple sheets, it is common to use dependent views for the normal scale partial plans. Here is my sophisticated building that needs to be split across multiple sheets. I have already created one set of dependent views, named as desired, and assigned scope boxes to each of the dependent views. At this point, you could use Revit's Apply Dependent Views tool to create a set of dependent views. Selecting the views is a little bit tedious, however, since the dialog box doesn't allow for multiple selection mode. The resulting views, however, will need to be renamed and have the appropriate scope box applied to them. One of my favorite tools for dealing with this issue is to use BIMLink. You can see that I already have a link set up for dealing with this very issue. BIMLink can make short work of fixing that issue by using Excel to search and replace the view names and add the correct scope boxes. But ID8 software has a tool called View Creator that you can use to quickly create the dependent views and the appropriate scope boxes in one action. There are several methods and rules that are available straight out of the box, but picking the dependent view and then selecting your existing dependent views is very easy. Hit the next button, and then you begin selecting the views that you want to apply those dependent views to. Here you can see that I'm removing a diagram view. and then removing the original views that already had dependent views. See how simple and fast that was? View Creator has created the dependent views with the appropriate names, and not only that, but assigned the scope boxes automatically to those dependent views. All right, thanks, Bob. Really uh, great to hear from somebody other than us uh, about how you're using our software. I know Bob over the years has been um, a real help to us as part of our beta program and given us a lot of great feedback on how to make uh, some of these tools better. Um, and uh, we're, we're grateful to have you.